dome is what most people notice about the Cathedral of St. Paul. It is 306 feet tall, that is roughly the same size as a 30-story building. And being constructed on the highest hill of the city, it ensures that the cathedral dominates the landscape. Even when landing at the airport, you can often look out the window of the plane and see the dome of the cathedral welcoming you. Most domed churches actually have two domes. Here the same. The interior dome is hemispherical in shape, but the exterior, the dome, has a point to it. That is an engineering trick to help channel the weight down into the great pillars. But the dome has more than a functional aspect. It is deeply symbolic. In the Old Testament, God speaks of pitching his tent to dwell with his chosen people. The Ark of the Covenant was kept in the meeting tent. A dome is a tent-like shape, which recalls that imagery of God's presence among his chosen people. Also, for those who have ever been to a Jewish wedding, the bride and the groom stand underneath a canopy or a tent. It is this sense of a covenant of love that is also an important symbol of the cathedral, that God is not only present here, but he is giving himself in love to his chosen people. Also particularly apt for St. Paul, because the scriptures tell us that he was a tent maker. So very fitting for the Cathedral of St. Paul to be built in a tent-like shape.